Hey YouTube, Copperstein here. Some time ago I asked about everyone's favorite event. And while there are too many events to pick from, we were able to narrow it down to five. So here are five old school Maple Story events. We're starting this one off with the legendary Cake vs Pie event. This event was held back in 2010 and later repeated in 2011 and also in 2015 if my memory serves me right. That just shows how awesome it was. During this event, neighbors could pick either the cake or pie side, while well, we all know that of course pie is the right side to pick, but that's beside the point, and they could fight a huge cake or pie monster. The team that scored the most points during this fight would take control of the towns until the next big cake or pie monster spawned. Later, a PQ was added where players could fight their way through hordes of cake and pie monsters and destroy some sort of barrier. The winning team would get tons of EXP and insignias which could be traded in for various rewards. Rewards included a special cakey weapon cover, kill scrolls and special shoulder decorations. Cake and pie shoulder decorations that is. And of course during this event maples could also collect maple weapons. The second event on this list is the Gold Richie event. Back then I was fairly high level and I would absolutely adore this event. Maples could collect the letters N-E-W-S which would spell out news and those letters drop from monsters and if you collected 20 of them you could combine them with some sort of compass and at a certain time if you use the compass uh, you would like be transported to a certain island called Gold Richie Island. Here you could kill golden pigs which would drop certain eggs. Those eggs would contain random rewards or EXP based on your level. And while this event was on multiple times, if I recall correctly, it did get nerfed at one point because you would always get a fixed amount of percentage of EXP. And for high level players, this was just extremely useful because training was so slow back then. Our next event is one that is exclusive to MapleStory Global. Well, at least I don't recall MapleStory Europe ever having this event. I'm talking about the Alien Visitor event. This event was actually quite good and pretty fun. Maples could join the O Triple S, which is short for the Omega Sector Service Secret Service. Omega Sector Secret Service. Damn, that's a mouthful. Riding a mech suit and shooting lasers at invading aliens. This was pretty cool already. And during the second part of the event, the Maples could join the PQ to stop the aliens from taking over the Maple World. After defeating monsters, you could advance to the next stage, all while floating around in the alien spacecraft. There were several difficulties for the PQ, and depending on the difficulty, various rewards like chairs and visitor gear would drop. Number 4 on our list was so awesome that after the event was over, it just stayed there, in the game, like forever. At least, and it was pretty cool, at least until it was nerfed at one point. I'm talking about the number 1, number 1, post and pre-Big Bang training spot. and post for like a long time, but not until it was nerfed. Of course, I'm talking about the Haunted Mansion. The Haunted Mansion was released way back in 2007 as part of the Halloween event. That's like 11 years ago. And only Mapers that were wearing a casual costume marked with an H for Halloween, guess what, were allowed to enter this mansion. There was just the linear quest line that you could follow and to be honest, that was about it. Mapers events were not that exciting back then. <laughs> like, ah, oh, uh, items will drop for monsters, enjoy. Well, nowadays it's like 20 mini games, a uh, shop with stuff. No, back then it was a bit more simplest. The gist inside the Haunted Mansion gave insane EXP, so this was like the best place to train. And this was also the place where you could get Heartstoppers, which was like a short duration Onyx Apple. At least it was felt like an Onyx Apple back then. I, I think it gave like 60 attack and 60 speed for like one minute, but it was insa an insane buff back then. Like that was really good back then. In the later years, the Haunted Mansion would get an updated event quest line, and for each Halloween, like they would update it with like PQs, boss fights, all those kinds of things. To be honest, Maple Story had a lot of awesome events, like the Rescue Gaga event, the Sheep and Wolf event, or the simplistic ones like Snowboards will drop, or Maple weapons would drop sometimes from monsters. The last one on our list is also one of those a bit more easygoing events. Once a year, a small town would get added, and in this town, Maples would gather for the sole purpose of dropping stuff. I mean, this sounds pretty... I'm pretty sure some Maples will be like, ah, he's talking about that one. That's right, Happyville. Every Christmas, this event would return. It's not really an event, actually. It's just a place. It's, an, it's a town with rooms, and in these rooms are trees that can be decorated. And the special thing was that items dropped in these rooms with these trees would not disappear and could not be looted by other players. So Maples would drop the craziest expensive items or simply decorate the trees with Christmas-themed items that you could also buy in Happyville. 
And that was it for today's video. Which Maple Story event did you enjoy the most? Thank you very much for watching, and as always, see you next time.